हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 18 ऑफ एंगुलर सीएलआई एल दैट इज एंगुलर टी एस लिंट रूल इन डेप्थ सो आई विल सजेस्ट यू बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट 18 प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट 17 दैट इज लिंटिंग टाइप्स क्रिएट यूजिंग टी एस लिंट इन एंगुलर सो यू कैन गेट दिस वीडियो इन माई प्ले लिस्ट कॉल एंगुलर सी एल so in this part 18 we will di we'll discuss few points that is the know about ts lint rules and ts lint rules violation error and how to fix it so here we'll discuss some of the common angular linting rules in ts lint.json file and you may modify these rules depending on your project requirements so there is uh, some common linting rules there so i already i already have mentioned here with its error so ts lint rules and errors and the rule is a uh, quote mark and if someone violate this rule then the error will be should be that is the double quotation it should be the single quotation and uh, rule number 2 is no trailing white space and the error name is trailing white space and rule is semicolon uh, the error should be missing semicolon here and the rule is comment hyphen format and if someone violate this rule then the error should be comment must start with a space and fifth is component hyphen class hyphen suffix and the error for that rule is uh, the name of the class app should end with suffix component and the sixth number rule is use hyphen life cycle use hyphen interface and the error against this rule is life cycle interface on init should be implemented for method ng on it so we'll discuss this rules one by one so first one is quote mark so quote mark is rules this rule specifies whether you want single or double quotes so i'll go to my uh, visual studio code here i already have opened my uh, angular project using command prompt earlier we have all the files pass linting so in my visual studio code i will go to the tslint.json file so i already have described this uh, rules in my previous videos you can go through that and uh, here whatever uh, rules we need to implement uh, we will we'll check that errors then we will check in this file called app.component.ts file so here guys what i'll do um, in this quote mark uh, rule i'll do one thing that the title you can see it starts with single quotation right so what i'll do here i will just remove this single quotation and i will put here double quotation here so that means it violates the rule that is uh, quote mark right so it not showing any compile time error it should be a linting error so i will show that error in uh, few min after few minutes so what i'll do and also i will change that uh, single single to double quotation here in welcome part right so this also violates the rule that is quote mark so what i'll do here uh after changes vs code not able to report the linting error when we execute the ng lit command it should report the quote mark rule violation right so i just save these changes and uh, after implementing all these rules and we'll check all these rules and uh, we'll execute this command called ng lint here so our next rule is that is the no trailing white space that the error against this rule is trailing white space right so what i'll do here this is rule number 2 so i'll go to my visual studio code here and uh, what i'll do here in the message part you have mentioned the welcome right and semicolon there is no white space here you can see nothing is here so i just put some white space here and save these changes right so the error should be that trailing white space we don't trailing white space earlier at the end of this line and after this we gave some space there so this is another linting error right so this is the second uh, rule violation error that is the 
no trailing white space and the third rule is semicolon and the error uh, against this rule should be missing semicolon so I'll go here and what I'll do that uh, I will he, here you can see every line is ending with the semicolon like right here and here so I just want to remove this semicolon here in this part and I want to save these changes right so so if we remove that uh, uh, here every lines are term terminated with the semicolon and if we remove the semicolon then we get that linting error so this is the third rule violation error that is semicolon and I'll go to my presentation so rule number four is comment hyphen format format and the error against this rule is comment must start with a space so I'll go to my Visual Studio code here. Here in this method, what I'll do after this let declaration, I just want to make a comment here. That is, this is my first comment, right? So this, this comment I need to put here. I save these changes. But the rule what it shows that that is the comment must starts with space right so here we don't have we have mentioned the space here that means there is no linting error so I just want to remove this space here and save these changes that means it violates the fourth rule that is the comment hyphen format that should not be it it will show us the linting error so I just save these changes so if we remove that space between the double slash and uh, text between it then we'll get that linting error so guys the fifth number rule is component hyphen class hyphen suffix and the error must be against this rule is the name of that class app app should end with the suffix component right so I'll go to my Visual Studio code here and what I'll do I just want to remove the component right here you can see that export class and this is the app class and this is the component right so here what I'll do here I just want to remove this component I just I'll remove that component here right and and I'll save these changes so that means it violates the error so the name of class app should end with the suffix called component but I remove that component suffix here so that violates the rule number five that is component hyphen class hyphen suffix so if we remove the component from this class name that is app then we get that linting error right and sixth number rule is use hyphen lifecycle hyphen interface and the error should be lifecycle interface that is the on init should be implemented for method that is ng on init so I'll go to my Visual Studio code here so on sixth number rule to use a lifecycle hook there are few steps first step is we need to import the lifecycle hook interface that is what I'll do I'll import that on init right here you can see it is auto populated that is on init and you can see it is the interface right so I'll just uh, yeah I'll save these changes and step number two is then we make the class implements that interface right so what I'll what I'll do here I will um, go to I'll, what I'll do here I'll just implements it can see that it shows the implements and uh, on in it this is the interface right so it, it is not showing so what I'll yeah it is showing now you can see it is the alias interface on in it import so it is comes from that import section so we can just click this one and right you can see here 
and another thing is uh, you can see one compile time error it's showing that uh, the class app incorrectly implements interface on init so property ng on it is missing in type app but required in type on it on init interface so, so that is the error compile time error we have got right so what i what i'll do next step is uh, step number three is we need to provide the implement implementation of that interface member that is ng on it so i just right here for ng on it method so you can see here the ng on it method it comes it is the part of interface it is the member of interface that is on in it so I click this one and you can see one compile time error is gone now right after implement that uh, interface member so these three steps we need to mention to use a lifecycle hook and here you can see the on in it it is the interface and uh, you can if you hover your mouse here you can see one a lifecycle hook that is called after angular has initialized all data bound properties of a directive define an ng on it method to handle any additional initialization tasks right and it is the interface member so you can see on the pop up here it is a method app dot ng on it and it is a method right it is the description you, can, you have seen here if you put your mouse cursor on that particular method name so okay next is if we misspell the ng on it to g on it you can see if you just remove this ng and you, to g on it that we can get a error that right so what is the error is you can see the error is class app incorrectly implements the interface on in it and the property ng on it is missing in type app but required in type on in it so to get that compile time checking that class implements that lifecycle hook interface called on in it right so what i'll do here and uh, we'll uh, put here ng on it right and after then what i'll do that export class class name is app and it till implements so i need to remove that implements keyword here right as per the rule so uh, so this is the ng on it and uh, if we remove the implement keyword then we get the linting error due to this rule so it shows that export class app on init and uh, i remove that implements right so um, remove implements keyword okay now we get the error is what is this error on in it refers to type export export class app implements all right so remove implements keyword title on in it okay If you put implements you can see all this uh, error is go gone now if you Im remove implements so we, we have got some error right so this is the error we got here and the title of that error okay So this is the lifecycle hook and uh, okay if we remove the implements keyword we get an linting error this is the rule defines here and uh, export class app imp 
implements ng on it and ng on it method is implemented here okay okay guys so what I'll do here I'll go to my command prompt and we execute the command called ng-lint uh, to get the list of linting error due to uh, the rules due to that rules we have described here right the everything the six errors we need to get here so I put here ng-lint We'll check here where the it is starts linting our project. So here guys to get that compile time checking the class app implements that lifecycle hook that interface on in it right so lifecycle interface on in it should be implemented for method ng on in it so if I'll go to my this one you can see there is six uh, there is a uh, five one is a uh, quotation uh, rule and trailing white space comment missing semicolon and the name class app should end with sophist component right so this is the error we have got now so last one is the life cycle hook we need to uh, show that error so here just remove this one So you can see that is app. Okay, if I remove this ng on it, what happened? Okay. So if I will execute that command again ng lint, you will see what the errors we got. You get here. So as of now. Uh, this error we have got whatever we have described to described here that is quote mark uh, no trailing white space semicolon comment format and comment hyphen class hyphen sophist component right so same thing you can see here and uh, it starts with the line number and the column number so this is the rules that is component hyphen class hyphen sophist quote mark 
quote mark no trailing white space comment format and semicolon and the related errors so against this rule violation right if the rule is violated then we get that error that is the should be in the yellow mark you can see here So the error will be come th that is for that we have removed that implement keyword with on ng on uh, on in it for method ng on in it right right so we'll get that error is life cycle interface on in it should be implemented for method ng on in it so we have removed here implements with on in it interface and all, only we have this method but here we don't have any compile time error but we'll get that linting error in that uh, command prompt right We'll, we'll check here yeah guys you can see here whatever we have described in my rules the sixth number rules also uh, it works with the error that the uh, you can see use hyphen life cycle hyphen interface the life cycle interface on in it should be implemented for method ng on in it so here i have removed that implements with on in it interface that's why we have not received any compile time error but we have received that linting error so see the, so the all the rules and its violation errors that is the six uh, rules and its violation errors is shown here right so one is quote mark second one is component hyphen class hyphen suffix use hyphen life cycle hyphen interface and a quote mark is the repeat one and no trailing white space comment format and the semicolon and the errors for that respective rules it's shown here right the six number six six rules and it's all the errors whose which one are violated against these rules so how to fix these errors uh, linting errors that is the without manually right so linting error support automatic fix here right guys so uh, what I'll do here there is one command is ng lint and uh, hyphen hyphen fix or dash dash fix you can say so if I press enter here so it will auto fix the sum of the errors here and some of the errors we need to fix in manually okay guys so in meantime I'll describe few rules so the rule number one is quote mark is this rule specifies whether you want single or double quotes rule number two is no trailing white space so this rule disallows the trailing white space at the end of the line Rule number three is semicolon. This rule specifies that a line should be terminated with a semicolon. Rule number four is comment hyphen format. So this rule specifies that all single line comments must begin with a space. Rule number five is component hyphen class hyphen suffix. So this rule enforces that a component class should end with a suffix component. And rule number six is use hyphen life cycle hyphen uh, interface so this rule enforces that you are the implements keyword for every lifecycle hook you use so that's why we have removed if you remove that implements with the interface we'll get that lifecycle interface on in it should be implemented for method on ng on in it right so we'll check here and another one is some of the linting errors support automatic fix so to have this linting errors fixed automatically we we have that this command called nglint and dash dash fix right so this command with dash dash fix option will uh, 
fix our some of the linting error automatically. So we need to check here once uh, the command will be executed successfully. And the, what are the red marks you can see here that the 8 is the line number, 14 is the uh, column name and the here 17 is the line number, 13, 33 is the column name guys. So I'll check here, there is a semicolon error right we have got. So he, here if I'll go here you can see 17 line number and 33 the column name. We have removed the semicolon that's why we have received the er error in number is 17 line number 33 is the column name and the error uh, this rule name is semicolon and the error for that column name that is the for the rule violation is missing semicolon so guys here we can see here uh, earlier we have six errors and uh, this four errors has been fixed automatically by using this command called nglint dash dash fix and this after executing this command some of the linting errors support automatic fix in in the below code if i'll go here that you can see automatic it is fixed right what are the below errors that is the double quotation is removed instead of single quotation it here automatically fixed that single quotation you can see here in welcome I have removed and it, it automatically fixed with single semi, single quotation and it, instead of double quotation it is single quotation here also single quotation and next one is trailing white space here I have mentioned some white space here it is the uh, it is automatically fixed the white space is removed here and here I have removed that semicolon right it's comment the missing semicolon here also it is added automatically the semicolon and the rule and the fourth number rule is comment must starts with space so here i have removed some space here right remember so after executing this command this space is removed and after this double slash it gives some space and we have mentioned our text comment name this is my first comment you can see the space is also added by the ng lint hyphen hyphen fix com command right so what are the below uh, errors is there and the remaining errors that is component hyphen class hyphen suffix the name of the class app should end with the suffix called component right so here i'll go here and i will mention here component right and uh, next one is what is the error is the lifecycle interface on init should be implemented for method on ng on it on init. So what I, I'll do here I'll implement keyword right and I'll put here that ng on in on init uh, interface. So that is the error it shows showing that we should use that on init uh, interface. So I'll go here, I just paste here, right? So you see here all the compile time error has gone and I will save these changes. So uh, the name of the, now we have fixed our, these remaining issues manually, that is the name of the class component starts with, uh, should end with the surface called component and the lifecycle interface on a net should be implemented for method ng on in it and i have done these changes whatever our requirements here and uh, what i'll do here i'll execute that command that is the ng on in it sorry ng lint 
right and we'll check here whether any errors will be shown or all files pass linting we'll check here after execution this command So in this way nglint fix command uh, will fix our lint some of the linting errors automatically and uh, some of the errors will not fix automatically that's why we have done it manually here. So guys you can see that my all files pass linting there is no linting errors in my code now. So our last one is to see list of options that can be used with nglint command and their data types and default values we use the one command called nglint hyphen hyphen help right so here instead of fix i just mention here nglint hyphen hyphen help so to see the options that can be used with the nglint command we can use this uh, command is nglint space dash dash help so what it will do uh, it will give us the some options that can be used with nglint command their data types and uh, default values right here you can see that that the project name of the project to lint options configuration exclude fly, files up fix force format help so silent and ts hyphen config ts lint hyphen config and type hyphen check this is the options we have you, you, we can use with the nglint command here so guys i'll go to my presentation here so options with nglint command nglint dash dash fix is some of the linting errors support automatic fix and next one is nglint dash dash help it see the options that can be used with nglint command so this is the all the list of options we can use with the nglint command right so this is my YouTube channel, subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on .NET, .NET Core, C Sharp, SQL Server, MVC, Angular, Azure and uh, GitHub. So what we have learned today in this video that is know about TSLint rules and TSLint, TSLint rules violation error and how to fix it uh, this violation error automatically or and uh, manually and to fix this error automatically we can use one command called nglint with the option that is dash dash fix and if we want to know any options that can be used with that nglint command then the command should be nglint dash dash help okay that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day